Our end goal is that people can read the Bible. There's no way that one person can teach all the people who want to learn or need to learn to read Yalunka, but I want there to be people here who can carry on the literacy training. We have a series of primers, four primers. We use the Guczynski model and they are very effective. It takes four to six sessions for a person to work through the first book. Of course, that varies a lot. If a person knows how to read in another language, it goes very quickly. But if a person is pre-literate and has never read any language, then maybe six sessions would do it. This is about the same, about six sessions. Um, it takes a little, uh, quite a leap of ability to go from this book two into our book three and then we have a book four. And by the time a person has finished book four, he can read fairly well. And so would be about ready to read the Bible. When the students had received their copies of the New Testament because they had really achieved a, a, a good level of ability to read Yalunka, on the way to my house after church, the president of the women came up to me and said, and now she's very dignified and I've never seen her jump up and down before, but her feet came off the ground when she said, Angaramma, Angaramma, which means we're gonna read, we're gonna read. There's a, a woman who is learning to read and she was, she's really fun to be around and we, you know, the people and I were enjoying uh, being with her as she was learning how to read and write. But one time she seemed to be shy, a little bit withdrawn. I asked her what was wrong. And she said, I can't believe that you keep coming out here to teach me to read. And she was thinking about the, the fuel that we, we spend coming out. And uh, she was a little embarrassed that we were still driving all that way once a week to follow up on her, her literacy lessons. And uh, I just, I laughed a little and said, and then I said, that's it? Let me tell you about someone who, you know, who has done much more for you than that. And I told her about Jesus. One of the things that's hindered growth in this area is people will come from other places and talk to people at night in their homes, but they'll be teaching things that are not right, things that are not true or things that are totally not Christ. Up to this point, people mostly have been able to hear God's word when they're in church or if they're in the homes of one of the preachers. And now, um, most homes have somebody who can read. And so they're gonna be able to have God's word being read in their homes rather than hearing words from other people or other things that would lead them astray and, and hinder their Christian lives. I want people, Yalunka people, trained to be teachers so that Yalunka literacy is an ongoing thing.